Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make three different types of rainbow loom rings. So let's get right into it. Starting off with this ring, which in my opinion is the easiest to make, we're going to need 10 bands of your choice and one S or C clip. And I'm going to use a hook to make this one. So starting off, we're going to grab a single band, loop it around the hook twice, then we're going to grab another band, put it on the hook, and pull our first band over and onto the second band then bring that side on. Then we're gonna grab another band and again pull it over and we're basically just gonna continue this um, until we get our entire ring. I accidentally dropped it but <laughs> alright so we're gonna get another band pull it all over bring it onto the hook another band pull it over and bring it to the hook then another band pull it over bring it to the hook pull it over bring it to the hook again another band pull it over bring it to the hook doing this with all 10 bands so pull it over then with our final band I'm gonna pull it over bring it on the hook, then we're gonna get our, put on our S clip. So we're gonna stretch out this pink band or your last band, kind of put your thumb in it to keep it stretched, get our S clip and just clip it on. Stretch it out a bit. Then we're gonna grab our other side so put our hook through this, and we're basically going to do the same thing, stretch it out, and clip it. And there we've got our first ring. So I'm going to kind of put it on, show it, and let's move on. So this is the next ring we're doing. This one's a little bit harder, just has more steps. So we're going to need 12 outer bands, 8 inner bands, and 1 S or C clip. And this time we're going to actually use the rainbow loom. So starting off, we're going to get a single band, place it in an eight shape. Then we're going to grab two of the outer bands and place them like so. Then we're going to bring our bottom band over the two bands we just placed, push it down. Then we're going to get another inner band and bring the bands under it over, push it down, then we're going to grab two more outer bands, place them on, and we're going to bring all of the bottom bands over. And we're basically going to keep doing this, so we're going to add another inner band, bring the bottom ones over, push it down, another two outer bands, bring all four of the bottoms over, then we're going to get another inner band, bring the two bottoms over, two more outer bands, bringing all bands over, push them down, then another inner band, bring the two bands over, push them down, and another two outer bands, bring all four bands over, push them down, then another inner band, bring two sides over, push them down, another two outer bands, bringing all four sides over, push them down, then another inner band, bring both sides over, 
push them down. Now we can remove this from the loom, so we're going to put our hook through the first band, then again through the second band, and we're going to put it through all the bands, so the third one, and finally this fourth band. Then we're going to get one more inner band and pull all four bands over onto it. Then put it back on, and now we're going to add our S clip. So like the other one, we're going to stretch it out, we're going to clip this on, pull it off, then we can get our bottom ones. So get that eight that we looped, or that we placed earlier, kind of put the hook through it, stretch it out, then we can grab the hook and clip it. Stretch it out a bit if you need, and then I'll show you how it looks. And voila! Now this is our final ring. It is the hardest, which really just means it has the most steps. Now this one's a bit more complicated to show the amount you'll need, but you're going to need 22 bands in total and in this sort of pattern. And we're going to use a hook and an S-clip or C-clip to make this ring. So starting off, we're going to grab a single band, loop it around three times, then we're going to grab two bands, which is going to be the inner part of the petal, and we're going to pull this white band over and onto it, put it in the middle, and then just pull it down the hook and kind of save it for later. Then we're going to repeat this four more times, so another white band loop it around three times, get another two bands of your choice, pull it over, then again just kind of pull it down, then we're going to get another band, loop it three times, another two bands to pull over, put it on the hook, Again, pull it down, another white band, loop it three times, another two bands to pull it onto, finally, last pedal, we're going to get another band, loop it around three times, get our two bands, and pull it on. like so. Now we have all five of our petals. Now you don't need a loom for this part but I find it easier so we're gonna grab a band kind of pull it on and we're gonna pull all of our petals onto this single band. So like so kind of push these down pull them all on And there, once we got them all on, we're going to grab the other side of the band and pull it off of the loom. And then, what we're going to do is pull this bottom band, sorry, this bottom purple band over so you only have one side, which is called a slip knot. We're going to tighten it up, like so. And now we can add the extensions to this flower. So stretch it out if you need to. Then we're going to put our hook through these three loops, three white loops, and the slip knot, like so. We're going to grab whatever color you use for the extension and pull all of these four loops over and onto it. Then we're going to add three bands on each side, so two more. One, pull it over and onto the hook. Then our last one on this side, pull it over and onto the hook. Then we're going to add an S clip to this side, 
So stretch out the band, get your S clip, hook it, and now we're gonna add the strap to the other side. So I'm gonna go through these three, like the other side, grab another extension, pull it on, then we're gonna add two more, so we're gonna get another one, pull on, and hook it, and our final one, pull it on, and hook it. Then we can add the other side of our S clip, so stretch it out, and clip it on, like so. Then you can kind of flip it if you need to. Then I'll put on the ring and show it off. And here's the results. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any other suggestions in the comments, then please let me know. And bye!